brought to you by the letter John Sands. <laughs> High five me with your heart. High thousand me with your hearts. I know you love many things. We all love many things. I love biscuits. I love little pancakes. I love cheeseburgers. I love more than just things that I chew with my mouth. I love my wife. Sometimes I chew my wife's shoulder in my mouth. Sometimes my wife, she is annoyed by this. <laughs> but still, my wife loves me back. Some things that I love do not love me back. Random racist man upon the street. While your rhetoric may anger me, I still have love for you. Though you probably will not love me back. Walrus, I love you. <laughs> though were I to be around you, you would probably gore me with your tusks. Perhaps this is not a good example as the wild unknowing of wild creatures is not necessarily the same as not loving something back. Perhaps also because I actually do not love the walrus, but simply mention him here because there's a small figurine of a walrus on the coffee table as I write this poem. However, I do love the elephant. However, she too would probably gore me with her tusks. Again, not out of unlove, but perhaps fear. I do not love fear, but I respect her and that he loves me, testing how well I carry the sword of my intent to the land of the Midnight Farms. The land of the Midnight Farm it is a scary place. There are perhaps serial killers and or possums lurking in its darkness. The serial killer may love me, but in no way I wish to be loved. Their love may involve the removal of my skin and the wearing of it out to the club. The possums may love me, but I do not love the possum. In fact, I hate the possum, <laughs> solely because of how ugly I find the possum to be. I realize that yes, this is a shallow reason to dislike something, so I'm trying, possum. I'm trying to not not love you so much. Instead, possibly just be ambivalent to your existence. But oh, I want to hate you like I hate the thought of bee stings, black people, and bees. I put black people in there just to see if y'all were paying attention. <laughs> mountains of trifle and futility, of perseverance and lightness, of incessant rowing towards the sun, even while facing it, wondering why there is no forward momentum. Turn around, look at my many hands, holding up my many hearts in a many high five salutation to you, Nina Simone, Paul Newman, so many things in this world I love, rising with the sun, sleeping in late little pancakes on white shoulders. Thank you.